guys, it's Vivian here with Paisley and for today's video we are going to be showing you how to make wide brim hats for your American Girl doll. These are similar to the ones that you would see on like Tumblr or on Beauty Gurus or just really anyone because these hats are so in style. So the ones that I'm going to show you is this gray, how to make is this gray one right here. But I've also made a black one just like that using the same method as the one that you're gonna see me do right now. So let's get started. So to create the hat, you're only gonna need a few materials that you might already have lying around your house. So you're gonna need some felt. I chose this gray felt, but you can use any color you want. A needle and thread. You can use um, any color, but I recommend obviously a thread that matches the felt that you have as close as possible. And also a, I'm gonna use a ruler, but because I'm going to use the hat that I already made as a template, that's why I'm only going to use the ruler. But if you don't have a hat that you already have, I would recommend using a compass. Okay, so excuse the dusties on my hat, but the first thing you're going to want to do is on your felt, you wanna, you're going to cut out a circle that has a diameter of about 19 centimeters, 19 and a half centimeters, excuse me, 19 and a half centimeters. Um, and I will do the inches um, conversion in the description box below. Now that you have your circle cut out from your felt, you are going to cut a rectangle that can go around your doll's head that is four centimeters wide. And if you want your hat to maybe be a little bit deeper, then increase the width. If you want it to be a little bit shallower, then decrease it, but I do not recommend you do that. Also, if you're wondering, the felt that I'm using is by Creatology that I purchased at Michael's and it is in the color Smoke. Now if your circle folded in half, you're going to want to go in four and a half centimeters um, from each side of your circle and then you're going to want to cut a slit and you're going to do this on both sides. I don't know if I said that already, but you're going to do that on both sides and then you're going to turn these marks into a circle and then cut that out. Once you're finished cutting out your inner circle, you should have two pieces that look like this. This is going to be your brim, and this is going to be the top of the hat. So now that you have your little circle, oh, and by the way, the rectangle that I had wasn't um, long enough to like go around the perimeter of the circle, so I just sewed two together, and you can do this too if you don't have a rectangle that will fit enough like felt make your rectangle that will fit around the perimeter of the circle. But now that I have that, I'm just going to sew them, sew the rectangle onto the circle. So you're gonna wanna match up the edges like this. See, there's the edge of my circle, and then here's the ed one of the edges of my rectangle. And then you're just gonna wanna sew all the way around. stitches are going, you're going to want to do that all the way around the circle. Now that I have my circle sewed onto my rectangle, it looks a little bit like a bucket almost, or like a basket. So once you have this shape, you'll notice I still have my needle in there. Keep that in there. Turn your shape inside out so that the right side is facing out and you should have that same basket shape and then I trimmed off my excess already but if you haven't, trim off your excess rectangle and then stitch this part closed alright, so now that I have sewed up this side I did a little back stitch to um, close out my basket here we have it and that's just the seam from the rectangle but these are both at this side so they won't be as noticeable when they are worn so now once you have this shape, you're going to want to grab your brim, the brim piece, and then you're going to want to match it up so that it looks like that. So that the edges, the inside edge of your brim is with the edge of your basket, the bottom edge, like the raw part. And then you're just going to sew them on just like how you did the rectangle and the circle. Okay, so once you finish sewing your brim all the way around onto your basket, I'm going to refer to this piece of the basket, 
You should have a hat that looks like this now. Yay! So one problem that I ran into, and that one problem that you might run into if you do this, is that there might be a little bit of extra brim here that you cannot, like, sew on because there's not enough of the basket. So an easy way to fix this is just cut down just like that. Now that I've made my incision, I noticed that when I cross these two pieces, they overlap quite a bit, and then it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to take my scissors again, and I'm just going to trim off a little bit from each side. And now I have two pieces that are this length. I'm going to sew these two together using a simple back stitch. Ta-da! So now, once you have finished sewing up your back seam and trimming off any excess, you now have a really, really cute wide brim hat for your American Girl dolls. These hats are so great for traveling because they're made out of felt. You can like fold them up and then throw them into a bag in your suitcase and then just like pull it out when you need it. Or you can like throw it in your purse if you don't want it to fall off your doll if you're like traveling. And they're just such great hats to have around. I think it's a closet essential for the summertime. And you could do this in like a whole bunch of different colors. You don't have to do gray or black. You, I think like a tan color would look really nice. And then you could put like a brown strip around the seam here. And it would look like a straw hat. And yeah, it'd just be really cute and easy. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and you had a lot of fun learning how to make a wide brim hat for your American Girl doll. So if you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and American Girl related videos. Also check out my Instagram for pictures of this hat and other doll pictures and I will see you next time. Bye!